It does seem to be a 4-3-3, Jim. Yeah, Peter, you can look at this formation one minute and think that it is 4-3-3, and the next time you check, it'll be 4-5-1. And it's all to do with whether you've got the ball or not, and the wider attacking players being asked to apply defensive discipline too. When it does turn to a five across midfield, then the shape of this team takes on a much tidier, compact defensive look. Jorginho gets it out to the wing. That's a good ball to find him. Got a sight of goal here. And a header! Italy playing well with lots of opportunities and plenty positives to take from the first half. Despite this scoreline, converting chances would make a world of difference for them. Chance! It's in! The second half off to a spectacular start! Well, that defence just wasn't expecting their midfield to mess up then, so when they did, they were caught completely cold by such a swift breakaway and such a well-worked finish too. He's left his man, has a goal! It's off target and by quite a way. Still a cracking effort, really looked like a man on a mission the way he went through on goal. Gorgeous control there. Italy have reached the now or never stage. Hits one! Goes. We thought it was over. It's all square once more. Italy are certainly a team that knows how to play their football as stylishly as you'll see. Tiki Taka at its very best, and they back it up with goals. And it's Jorginho, he's got through, Bellotti, and he's such real chance! Great build-up, it all deserved a better ending. That was created because of good, lively movement, which pretty much dictated the pass. Goes for goal! That's a half-decent try. And that's it. A very good game of football, no winner. But both sets of fans have got their money's worth. Fine entertainment, and it ends all square. Your final thoughts, Jim?